Hey guys, hey. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. Okay, I don't have enough room for all the food I'm gonna eat right now, so this might be a longer video because of my, you know, multiple courses. Mmm, <laughs> I can't. I thought I would talk about the real reasons we haven't traveled yet. And I know as I sit here eating a huge meal, it's going to seem weird talking about that. I want to be more comfortable. That's my problem. I don't lock in. I leave that door open for like possibility of failure. The pain of change is a really big thing. So I have a month and a half left at the gym. So I will use. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I'm not gonna be eating bread. Most normal people eat to be satisfied. <laughs> Welcome back to my first vlog on this health journey. Um, at first I'm gonna struggle with these videos and with the everything because it's a lot more activity than I'm used to. Honestly, I'm used to just ordering food and plopping myself in front of the camera. Um, actually making efforts is exhausting for me at first. <laughs> So as you can see, I gained weight, um, about what, two, at least two or three kilos. Yeah, over two kilos at least. I've been eating a lot, a lot of food, a lot of junk, very little activity. Um, you know, I've been avoiding the gym. That would be why I gained weight and uh, no, I'm not happy about that. So I'm hoping eating the healthy food will help with that. So it's basically like a wholesale fruits and vegetables place, but I wanted to check it out because we needed some produce and it's a lot of things. <laughs> All right, we're done here. All right, so here I am at the gym in the change room. I'm feeling tired, not up to working out, but I push myself to at least do a good 45 minutes. I start with the arm exercise machines. Those ones are usually pretty empty, so I start doing that. Just some pull downs and some uh, bicep curls here. I'm very limited, as you know, as to what I can show you in the gym. So, and uh, also sh I can't really show myself when I don't have my hijab on, which is while I'm at the gym. So I'm just uh, doing some bicep curls and now some uh, walking on the treadmill. I do about 15 minutes of interval speeds. Not too high yet, but I start, uh, you know, I do 2.4 and I alternate. Uh, you can see that was the beginning of my time, 15 minutes. Now I do the majority of my time at 1.6. Okay, so post gym, we're gonna have a fish dinner. I am having a healthy meal today. I'm kind of sweaty because honestly, I've been working hard to clean my home and I'm in the kitchen just like making chopping vegetables feels like forever <laughs> this when I start a health journey I find it cleansing like there's something astringent and hydrating at the same time about fruit and fruit is actually a food that our body digests the best it doesn't take long to digest it so if you drink eat a lot of um, hydrating fruit you're going look at me in health mode now all right so this is day two of going to the gym I really don't feel like it like really don't but I'm gonna go and at least do like 40 minutes and uh, yellow. So today's workout was extremely hard for some reason. Like harder than usual. I only did 15 minutes on the treadmill, but my back was hurting. And then I did uh, the upper body stuff today. Imagine guys, Chantal with eight pack. Walking to the home. <laughs> I'm sore. I always believe on you, baby. Thanks, babe. I appreciate it, my love. Aww. Okay, let's go. I hurt my back at the gym. I felt a pop when I was on the treadmill. The lower back pain was starting. And then I felt like a a pop. You know, I can't even like stand for very long. Like I can't um, do certain things for very long. So, you know, I'll have to take a couple days to get healed up a bit. So today I look dead because I'm in so much pain because I, I injured myself at the gym. Like I was walking on the treadmill and the lower back pain was starting and then I felt like a pop just from walking like what I thought you had to bend over for that anyway I have um today I found Kuwait has an obesity problem I think they're like number one for obesity rate in the world um I haven't seen like too many huge people walking around though which is weird I don't know maybe they stay in I'm not sure but anyway um 
so they have a lot of diet centers, a lot of meal preparation services. So this this is I'm trying a diet service, a diet service. Um, they portion out the meals, and everything is the macros are there, the calories. So I am actually excited to try it, but. Hmm. Yeah, the lemon sauce with some rice would be good to soak it up. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, eat with me today. So, I have another diet box, and as I've said before, there's many, many different um, restaurants, companies here who do these diet boxes, so um, I'm gonna try like different ones. <laughs> wow, this is so much, looks like so much more food than the yesterday's food but this one doesn't come with a dessert but i do have a lot of fruit um that i'm going to be eating i have been eating the fruit a lot um and the vegetables like if i get really hungry i find like potatoes are like so satiating um so i have like a potato with like a little bit of butter and my favorite salad on the side so everything is getting eaten um whoa <laughs> that looks so good creamy chicken that's a lot of food Okay, I did a thumbnail. So this this meal is like one of the higher calorie ones, but if you look at my calories for the day, I actually like have a lot of calories. It, it's still only like over a thousand calories that I had today. So colorful and yummy. I'm gonna put sauce all over it. This meal is by far my favorite so far. I've only had two, but this one included, but this one is better than the last one. Everything is portioned and measured for me. I wanna drink the sauce, but I won't. <laughs> My scale is brand new. There's some people who will comment every time I weigh myself, your scale's broken. I, even though I've had like three scales, probably, I think like three scales since my channel. What, it would need to be nearly impossible, statistically, the probability of all three of my scales being off is ridiculous. This one goes up to like 400, 450 pounds, I think. Maybe 400. This will keep me nice and full for like two hours. <laughs> I'm still smoking one shisha a night, which I know is bad, but... And I feel like if I do succeed at this, I will inspire people, and that's what I want to do, even just even if it's a handful of people who watch me, who, who never had any faith that someone like me could ever change their life for the better. <laughs> Hello! It's me! It's the end of the day. Hey, 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 yeah. I have Subway today. So, it's supposed to be healthy fast food, right? <laughs> I have a Coke Zero chicken, rotisserie chicken, with, a, they didn't put that many vegetables as I thought. Anyway, a whole bunch of vegetables somewhere in there. And that's my secret to staying satiated with like Subway when you don't get a 12 inch, because I could totally smash a 12 inch. <laughs> you guys know. If you don't know me by now, you will never ever ever know me. Yeah, they're baked. You see the bake mark. <laughs> I did a live stream earlier. I mentioned that my back is still sore. Ooh, that's spicy. I'm thinking of Weight Watchers. It just seems like the most realistic option. No harm in trying, I guess. I never tried Weight Watchers, I don't think. So I'll try to do a vlog tomorrow. Maybe do a full day of eating. Do a weigh-in next week. I ate that fast. Like I said, I like the balance of the idea of Weight Watchers. Like, you can have, it's kind of like a moderation thing, but the, the food has points and value. So like, you wanna make sure you're still getting enough nutrients and not just eating for nothing. And uh, it's a balanced, more balanced way of eating. And I find the balance seems to satisfy my, my weird brain the most, honestly. Anyways, um, thanks for having this short meal with me. I really appreciate it as always. 